Hi guys, we're joined today in this video by Irish professional football freestyler Connor Reynolds. Connor, what are you going to teach us today? Hey guys, today we're going to learn how to do a combo. Before we get into it, I'm going to show you what a combo should look like. This is an example of what a simple combo is. A combo is basically a combination of more than one trick. A lot of beginner freestylers tend to break combos nowadays and don't understand how to construct combos properly. Here is an example of the same combo completed properly and broken up. Step 1. You need to learn the three basic lower tricks which are the around the world, the hop the world and the half around the world. Links will be annotated on the screen and in the video description on YouTube to each trick tutorial. Step 2. Before trying out a combo with various different tricks, you should try to aim for 20 hop the worlds, 20 half around the worlds and 10 around the worlds both strong and weak foot. Practicing records in these basic tricks will enable you to feel more comfortable while trying very long combinations as well as improving your stamina. Step 3. Once you've mastered the three basic tricks, now try a short combo you're comfortable with. Three examples you can try are around the world, crossover, hop the world, or around the world, half around the world, around the world, or around the world, hop the world, around the world. When you're beginning to learn combos, it's fine to use crossovers, but once you're comfortable with long combos, try avoid using crossovers as much as possible unless doing no touch after the crossover, because doing them in a combo is seen as a way of breaking the combo. Now try a 5 trick combo. An example is around the world, half around the world, around the world, around the world, hop the world. When it becomes easier and you're consistent at the combo you've picked, try repeating the same combo straight after you finish the short combo without a pause in between. This will then make it a 10 trick combo. If the short combo you've chosen happens to be too difficult for you, it's not a problem, just adapt what I said to the level you have. Step 4. Once you're comfortable with doing long combos, try and incorporate more complex tricks. An example is Lemons Mitch Around the World Combo Alternative Lemons Around the World. When concluding the combo, it is important to make sure you complete it with a stylish looking trick to make it overall look better. Tricks you can complete the combo with are Abba's Around the World, Lemons Around the World, Magellan, Alternative Lemons Around the World, Alternative Homie Mitch Around the World, Alternative homie Tizani around the world and no touch. When concluding combos, try avoid tricks such as homie Mitch around the world, homie Tizani around the world, around the world, hop the world, and crossover. To make things easier for you when you're doing combos with hair tricks is to find a trick you like and you're most comfortable with when starting or finishing a combo. An example is hop the world after a crossover trick such as Lemons Mitch around the world or Tizani around the world rather than an around the world as it looks more stylish and it's easier. Then before concluding the combo with a trick such as alternative lemons around the world, do an around the world or hop the world, not crossover as it will look more attractive and it makes it easier. A lot of freestylers today do scala combos and finish it with an around the world or the hop the world which makes the combo incomplete instead of polishing the combo off with a stylish trick. Freestylers like Lothar, Rocco, Tom Folan and many more always complete their combos with a stylish looking trick rather than a basic trick. In general, Weak foot is vital to have, especially in combos. Even when it comes to juggling the ball, you must use your weak foot to avoid fatigue. Try aim to have the combo where the ratio is 50-50 to make it look well balanced. When you land a new trick, you should always try to land a weak foot straight away rather than coming back to it in the future as the technique to the trick is still fresh in your mind. You should always train long combos at the beginning of training as they require a lot of energy but always conclude your trainings with multiple hop the worlds as it improves stamina and you'll find long combos will seem easier next training. To wrap this up, combos are quite tedious to train, but with practice they'll become significantly easier over a period of time. 
To check out Connor's Instagram for daily freestyle clips and photos, click the link that appears here. It'll also be in the video description. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful and thank you for watching. Go right left. Back left. Back right. Left. Left. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> give me a second. So that's the soft.